perform linear mapping, or corridor mapping, in DroneLink. In this video, we will cover how to plan a linear map mission. Adjust the number of passes, either by setting the pass count, or the corridor width. Then we will preview it before flight, and execute the mission in the field. Let's jump in. To start from a template, open the Create menu, and select Linear Map. Select a takeoff location to place the template. You can also import a KMZ file. Select to import the file, as a linear map. When mission planning, move the first boundary point, to the starting location. Drag the other boundary points. Or add new ones by selecting the plus buttons. Open the linear map settings, to set altitude, side, and front overlap values. In the advanced settings, edit the corner radius, and select a linear map strategy. Either set the number of passes you want to fly over the corridor. Or, set a corridor width, and based on the other settings, DroneLink will calculate the required number of passes. We will fly two passes, and will enable terrain follow. Move the blue map start pin, to choose where you want the flight to start. And adjust the takeoff restriction zone size if desired. Use the mission estimate, to understand image count and more. Review the flight path in 3D. And run a mission preview to see the flight behavior. And to download the flight path. To preview it in Google Earth. Once in the field with the drone connected, open the linear map mission. You can also preview the mission in the drone link app or make edits to the mission plan. Select Start when ready. DroneLink will fly to the required altitude, and then to the start point to begin capturing data. Adjust the camera settings, and focus the camera as needed. Take control at any point, by selecting Pause, and resume from where you left off. If you are changing locations during the mission, Enable the dynamic home point feature, in the mission settings. Congratulations! You completed the mission. Check out these other videos. And thanks for flying with DroneLink.